are going to be making Halloween window shades cemetery for the window, three windows. The window you see up ahead of you here, the window here to the side, and this window here in the front. And this is being made for a bake shop. I'm going to make three shades. It's going to be a triptych of a Halloween uh, cemetery. And the tools and supplies you need are in front of you. You need cloth, you need white <coughs> or off-white cloth for your shades. You need yellow or orange for a moon if you're going to put it in and black for shadows. The stick behind there is to hang your shade with. The glue to glue the shadows onto your shade. And then your patterns for the uh, bats and the headstones. And then we're going to draw a tree under the black Next fabric. Next thing you want to do is put your black fabric onto your, your white shade here. And put your black fabric down on top of it, matching the edges of the black to the edge of where you want your tree to start. And then you're going to draw your tree. I use soap as a marker. You can use fabric, uh, Taylor's chalk if you like, but I just use an edge of soap. And drawing a tree is really easy. It's just a series of a bunch of V's. So you start with your trunk, you come up, you pull it up, and I put my first branch pretty close to the top. My top is down here. So I'm gonna put my first branch out like this. And I'm gonna make my V. Bring my trunk up. Bring another branch out. Basically, I have my tree drawn. I'm going to cut the tree out, and then I'm going to lay it back on the fabric this way. And I'm going to cut out my um, <coughs> tombstones and my bats and place those on the fabric. Okay, I have the tree cut out, and you can see that the tree is just a series of bees that you got your branches out of. And then I have it pinned on the fabric as well. And I put it on a piece of cardboard so I can protect my tables because I'm going to glue it now. I have all my pieces pinned in place, my bad shadows, and my headstones. And now I'm going to glue the entire thing um, together. And then let it set for 24 hours and let it dry. I'm going to add the edges of the cloth so that the cloth won't fray. Okay, now that all the uh, edges are glued, we're going to wait 24 hours for it to dry, and we'll be done. We'll be back in front okay, of <coughs> the first part of the three-part uh, shade for the cemetery scene, the triptych that I'm making, is done. This is where I showed you how to glue it together, and now it's up on the window. It's facing inward right now, but this is very typical of how it will look outside when it's switched around. And then the second triptych, I've gotten all the tombstones cut out and the bats, and I've added a, a moon to it. You can see it here, it's all laid out. And then I have the bats ready to go and everything pinned in place. And now I am going to <coughs> um, glue this together. And you can see on this one, headstone right in the front. I have cut out the letters R-I-P and so the white shows through and I'm going to glue that first. Once the shades are done, you hang them and they light by inside light. It's just the lights are on on the inside of this building and that's how they're lit. That's the first tree we made on this side. And then I coordinated that around on the front of the building. To the front of it. And this was the second one we did. And this was the second shade we did with the tree on the other side of the shade this time. So now I turned the lights back on the porch. I had them off so you could see it. And this is a spider web on the front of the porch. 
this is how a bait shop is lit at night. The complete instructions on this, you can see it at the website, which should be at the bottom of your screen. And I'll also give you instructions on the spider web as well, and show you how to hang these, how to make the tombstones, the bats, the owls, the trees, and all the necessary pieces to put this together.